graphing from an equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So the equation y equals mx plus b is called slope intercept form. It's called slope intercept form because the m in this equation is the slope or rate of change and the b is the y intercept. So you're gonna be given a number for m and a number for b. Okay, so for the number m, which is slope, you're gonna, you're gonna have a ratio or a fraction. It's the top number, the numerator is the rise, and the bottom number down is the denominator. If the number that is up, the numerator is positive, you are going to move up. If the number is negative, you're gonna go down. This number is always going to go to the right. This number here is the y-intercept, and this number will always touch the y-axis. So let's go ahead and get into our examples. Example number one. Graph y equals one-fourth x minus one. Okay, so here I have two numbers, like I said. So I'm going to have y equals this number is going to be my m. I'm going to go ahead and put here m. That's my slope. So my slope m is 1 fourth. And then this number here, the negative 1, is going to be my b, which is my y-intercept. And I'll write that down over here. b is negative 1. So let's go ahead and get started here. So my m is, I'm going to have a rise and a run. This number that is up, the 1, is my rise. This 1 is positive. Positive means I will go up. So I'm going to go up, and then this is 1. So I'm going to move up 1 space. And this 4 is my run. I'm going to go to the right, 4 spaces. So right, 4 spaces. This number is my y-intercept. This is where I'm going to start. I'm going to start here. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to do the b first. So my b is the y-intercept, negative 1. So y, this is my y-axis. I need to find negative 1. So let me go ahead and zoom in here for you. My y-negative 1 is right over here, and I'm going to put a point... This is my B right here, negative 1. And now I'm going to go up one space and then four spaces to the right. So uno arriba y luego cuatro a la derecha. So I'm going to go up one and then four to the right. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put my space. So guys, look. Up one. And then four to the right. One, two, three, four. Uno arriba y luego cuatro a la derecha. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a line. And put arrows at the end. Y flechas en el fin. Just like that. Very simple. Let's go ahead and do our next one. Example two. I have to graph y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 4. So this number with the x, el numero con el x, that is my m, my slope. And then this number over here at the end is my b, my y-intercept. So I have m is negative 4 thirds and b is positive 4. This is my rise. This is my run. So this number is negative. Negative is up or down. Negative is down. Negativo es abajo. So I'm going to go down four spaces. Bajo cuatro espacios. And this three is always, always to the right. Este que está abajo siempre está a la derecha. So always what is down is going to go to the right. And that is to the right three spaces. And this is where I'm going to start. So I'm going to start here on the Y. So this is my Y-intercept positive 4. 
So my y-intercept, positive 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's right over here. That's where I'm going to start. That is my B. And now I'm going to go 4 down and 3 to the right. Ahora, 4 espacios abajo y 3 espacios a la derecha. So 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3, Put a big point, un punto grande, and now we do a connection with the line. Y ahora, una línea. Now it's better to do with a ruler. It's mejor con una regla, but I don't have one. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. That's it. Easy. Next one, number three. Graph y equals 3x minus 2. This number with the x, este número con el x, is the slope m. And this number without an x, este número sin x, is b, y-intercept. So I have m equals 3, and then my b is, don't forget the negative, negative 2. Okay, so, uh-oh, I have only one number here. Uh-oh, solo tengo un número aquí. So what I have to do is I have to put a number down. Necesito poner un número abajo. If there's no number down, it's 1. Why? Because 3 divided by 1 is 3. That is why. So if there's no number down, you put 1. Si no hay número, necesitan poner 1. So I'm going to leave it like that. And so this number is my rise. This is positive. Positive is up or down. Positive is up. Positivo es arriba. So I'm going to go up three spaces. And this number one is always to the right. So the number down is always to the right. One space. And this is where I'm going to start. So I will start here on the Y axis. So Y intercept. So Y negative two. So Y negative two. That's right over here. I'm going to put a big point. That is my B. And I'm going to go three up and one to the right. Tres arriba y uno a la derecha. So one, two, three, and one. Tres espacios arriba y uno a la derecha. And go ahead and do a line. You can do it better than that. And connect. Next one. Number four. Okay. I here I have y equals negative x. So the number with the x, el numero con el x, that will be my m. And the number with no x, el numero sin x, is b. Okay, so let's discuss. So m is the number in front of x. Es el numero en frente de x. If there's no number, si no hay numero, es uno. It's one. If there's no number, it's one. So this is negative one. m is negative one. And then my B, there is no B, no hay B, it's zero. So if there's no number in front of a letter, si no hay número enfrente de una letra, it's one. So if it's with a letter, it's one. If there's no letter, si no hay letra, it's zero. Okay, so here I don't have a number down, so I need to put one. If there's no number, I put one. So this is my rise. This is negative. Negative, I will go down one space. And this number is always to the right. So to the right, one space. And here it's zero. This is where I start. So I start at zero. Here is the zero. I'm going to put a big point there. That's my B. And I'm going to go one down and one to the right. So one down, one to the right. So uno al bajo y uno a la derecha. One down, one to the right, and make a line. Easy. Number five. Graph y equals x minus seven. So the number in front of x, el número en frente de x, is m. 
If there's no numbers, you know I numero, what number is it? It's one. So M is one, and this number without an X, este numero sin X is B. So my B is negative seven. If there's no number down, I have to put one. So this number up is positive. Positive is up or down? It's up. So I will go up one space. And this number is always right. One space. And then over here, this is where I start. So start at y negative seven. So y negative seven. Uh-oh, I only have to negative five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an extension. Okay, so if this is five, I'm gonna go, this is gonna be negative six, and this is gonna be my negative seven. So feel free to go ahead and add a little extra. Make sure you put the numbers. So I'm gonna put my point on negative seven, that's my B. And I'm gonna go up one and right one. So up one, right one, uno espacio arriba, uno espacio a la derecha. So up one space, right one space, and go ahead and make a line. Simple. Okay, two more examples. So these are a little different. So this one, I have to graph x equals negative three. So here, these are completely different if you just have a letter and a number. So for x equals negative three, what you need to do is, I need to find negative three on the x. Necesito encontrar el negativo tres uh, en el x. So here's my x, I need to find negative three. So x negative three, that's right over here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna draw a line. Voy a poner una línea. Now, I already have a line that is horizontal. Ya tengo una línea horizontal. That's my X. So I'm not going to put another one in the same place. No, no voy a poner una otra en el mismo lugar. Not in the same place. So I'm going to go ahead and do it vertical. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a vertical line. So if you have an X equals a number, the line will be vertical. And this is your, your answer. Okay, so for your X, I know it's kind of weird. It's going to be vertical. Because if you pick a point, so for example, this point, this point is negative 3, 3. Okay, and if I pick another point, I'm just going to show you this. This point is negative 3, 1. Notice that all of the X's, all of the X's are negative three. That is why I have to do it like that. So even if I pick this one, well, let me pick a different one. Let's pick this one. This one is negative three, negative two. Okay, so my X is negative three. So all the points here on this line have an X negative three, that's why. So. It's gonna be vertical. Last example, graph y equals two. So here I have positive two on the y. So here's my y, positive two, that's right over here. And I already have a vertical, a vertical line. Ya, ya tengo una línea vertical. I'm not gonna do another one on top. No voy a poner una otra sobre la línea que existe. Okay, so I'm gonna do a horizontal. Just going to go ahead and do a horizontal line. And that's it. Es esto. So let me explain why. So every point, cada punto on this line, en esta línea, look, so the x is 5 and the 2 and the y is 2. So the y is 2. Let's pick another one, this one. That is 4, 2. So notice they all have two. So even here, here I have negative five, two. Okay, so notice they all have two on the Y. That is why it's horizontal.